Hey, this is. <laughs> I was just around to start. Oh, was you? Yeah. It'd be better if I, right. I started. We're going to have loads of bloopers. Yeah. You can make a blooper video. Yeah. I'm Shah. And I'm Paul. And we are mum and dad of the Twyman family. Um, we have six children. One doesn't live at home with us. One is 18, never here, and the four little ones. And we're building our family home with Home Group WA and up in Alcamos Beach. So we're just going to document our journey about the build, about the process prior to the build, sorry, about the build and, um, yeah, just the process through in case it can help anyone else. Yeah, we've done lots of searches uh, on YouTube to try and see other people's journeys and things and really struggled to find good content that's... Um, could recent. give us something to follow and see what other people are going through, I guess. We've rented since we arrived in Australia in 2004 and just always thought it was too hard to get a mortgage and go through that whole process. Also never really had enough savings to have a huge deposit, which is what seems to be required with the banks. So we just put it off and we've been renting for so long. It's really important for us to have a family house. So I just randomly was on Facebook and saw a post come up from Stop Rent in Perth. Pretty much the, t the tagline or the, the catch line was, do you earn over $60,000 a year? If so, you could own your own home. So yes, we did, and more than that. So I basically just filled out the little online form, um, not knowing actually that Stop Rent in Perth were affiliated with Home Group WA. And then we were put in contact with Sam Craven from Home Group um, WA who then delved in a little bit more about our earnings and our situation, uh, our areas we were interested in building or living. Yeah, dependencies. Oh yeah, de um, not, not dependencies babe, cut that bit. Dependents. Um, <laughs> I've got a dependency. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a dependency on chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a dependency. I have a dependency on wine. <laughs> so once he had come back and looked into the fact that we could borrow the amount we needed to, um, there were opportunities for land um, and home packages with Home Group WA in the areas that we wanted. We then um, met up with Sam. He had us go to Alcamos Vista. Alcamos Vista um show homes so we went along there we loved the look of home group uh their build we loved the inclusions they had a lot of inclusions in their packages he sat down and just showed us some plans um probably about three for our price range um different plans and then discussed with us different blocks that we could be looking at and um, we're looking in Alcamos Vista, Alcamos Beach and Trinity. Obviously we would we prefer to be beach side of Marmion so if you're not watching from Perth that won't mean anything to you but again that's just telling you that we're beach side of the main road that runs all the way up the coast in Perth so we wanted to be beach side for the kids really and um, he sent us to look at two different blocks, one in Alcamos Beach and one in Trinity. Yes, so we went and looked at a block in Trinity, which is beach side of Marmion Avenue in Perth, in Alcamos, um, but Marmion End, so um, closer to the main road. We then had the call from Sam on the 24th to dash up and look at a block in Alcamos Beach which was 900 metres from the beach, was already titled. Um, and the sale, unfortunately, for the previous people had fallen through on their finance. And um, it had come available and it was probably one, I think it was one of the only blocks in that, that um, release and that road to be available. Everything else had sold on it. Yeah, Even that had sold on it still from the previous people. Super close to the schools. Yeah, super close to the schools, 900 beach. metres from the beach, parks around you, but that's just Alcamos Beach anyway. We'll cover that in another vlog. And we had to basically make the decision there and then. Otherwise it would have been it. snapped up. So he actually got us a great deal on that. Yeah, and so the 26th of May, we actually went in and signed the, uh, the land contract and paid the deposit. 
so we just thought let's go for it and just done it. 21st of May we went to the show home in Alcamos, 24th Sam sent us details of the block, we went up and had a look at it, 26th so two days later we'd signed the contract on the land and paid the deposit on the land, um, so that was a really quick turnaround and obviously as well in that process decided that we were going to build with home group WA from research we looked at reviews and looked at their inclusions and their packages also yes yeah, so, <laughs> so so we had a blog but now we had to find out <laughs> <laughs> so then we had a blog <laughs> baby sleep in the lounge and I'm cracking so after paying the deposit on the block and deciding we were building with home group obviously we then had to go in to see Sam uh, the land area then had to have a house that would go on um, size wise and finance wise yeah so we went for the home group Amelia plan um, that had everything we wanted the four bedrooms the theatre room and the living area and putting that house on our block that we purchased allowed us to have a really for a new build and a, and a block size that is in that area in Alcamos Beach it allowed us to have a really good size um, back garden hopefully we're looking to put a pool in so we need and the kids are so much outdoor kids um, trampolines monkey bars and play outside so we want that was important to us to allow ourselves enough room so it worked in all aspects really yeah, so then we went in on the 15th of June and we signed off on the plans. So Sam got um, like the official uh, plans of the house drawn up onto the block and we had to go in and sign off. So then we went back into home group to meet our finance lady who was... Efficient. What's her name? Maxine. <laughs> Maxine. So Maxine from home group, amazing. She's from actually... To the point, just gets Works for done. them, but she's from Maxon Finance. But... Um, uh, has been amazing so that was basically we just went through uh, because I run my own business so I own a gym so <laughs> and also I had actually changed jobs and needed to wait for six months of employment as well so that was didn't throw a spanner in the works it was just a little bit of time so, so that so that process did take a little bit longer than it would do for someone who was uh, employed and had been employed for a certain amount of time yeah. I owned my own business um, and Shah had to wait for the six months so there was We're, a certain amount of timeline and paperwork and stuff that needed to be done. Also four children through a spanner in the works because the more dependents you've got. From there it was all the way to yeah. 22nd of September. So until, during during that time from the 18th to the 22nd um, we were just collating lots and lots of paperwork, proof, um, there was a lots of um, little things that needed doing like we had a couple of savings accounts that weren't used they all needed closing properly we were Live given a budget. budget so we had a budget show a certain amount of savings in that time yeah um, and that's where Maxine was really good she basically told us exactly what we needed to do to make sure that there would be no issues with the finance when we formally apply for the finance and that actually went, went through and that's on the 22nd of September and that was going to um, Keystart so we might do a separate vlog on Keystart or yeah I think formal finance approval on the 21st of October so a month bar a day that was a really big moment for us and I think at that point then we felt a bit more settled about the whole, whole process of the finance anyway and that obviously things were going to start moving and get getting real and then once the formal finance approval was done they could obviously move to settlement rather than just having a deposit on it it would be our land so settlement occurred on the 11th of the 11th 21 at 11 a.m. as well. At 11 a.m. and we actually just by chance had our pre-start meeting with home group booked for the 12th of November so it was a really great week settlement was done and then we went into our, um, home group head office or HQ as they call it where they've got the massive showrooms and we did all our pre-start selections got all our inclusions explained to us and chose all of those um, Home group have a video scrolling on their website where you can see and in, like into their showroom and stuff. It's a bit like a, a mini IKEA. You can basically walk around everything and they show you what's included. Now we were we were lucky that we had quite a few inclusions um, with our, our plans that we'd gone for, um, but there were a few other things obviously that you want to upgrade and things like carpets and um, 
we, I think we should do a separate vlog on just showing like the all the upgrades that, yeah. that we went through. Uh, we picked like the colors of everything. Um, I just done as I was told. Sure, I picked everything. Didn't. Um, wouldn't let me have. Uh, wanted tiles. Wouldn't let me have wooden floor. Laminate tile that, things. No. Uh, so what we'll do now? Let's just finish off with. Uh, give you an update on the build so it gets you up to date and then future vlogs we're going to go into a little bit more detail on each thing we had our pre-start obviously mid-november uh, which means then once settlement had happened everything could start moving forward but unfortunately just with a little bit of a delay we hit christmas wrong uh home start home group home group closed for christmas and obviously the builders take a break as well so we missed that, but as soon as they were back on the 10th of January, we heard from home group. We were told, then communicated to, that we moved to construction, and then they proceed on the block with construction of your house. So once that was confirmed, we were given a date of the 18th for our groundworks to start. And you can see in the images and pictures here that uh, what they've done here, and then pretty much slabbed went down we were really surprised at the rate that the groundwork slab and everything else followed slab went down on the 25th of the first yeah, so soap wells went in on the first of feb you can see on the pictures it gets really sandy and stuff after all they dig all the the earthworks up and stuff and the to soak get wells the soak wells in so they pull that and you see the big pipes coming up and stuff um and then they cleared it and the slab now looks like this so it looks much nicer really clean um, and then we were just waiting for delivery of the window Wind frames and the bricks, which yeah. arrived the last couple of days. Yeah. So on the um, like 13th, 14th of Feb, we had delivery of the bricks. Windows and bricks. And the next stage now is purely waiting for a brickie. I happened to um, pop past the block because the schools are really close. Now we've moved the kids to the school there. I popped past the block and I happened to run into, uh, they've got another home group house across the road that's nearly finished and the site manager there came over and spoke to me and pretty much gave me an in-person update that um, just confirmed what I'd been told by Michelle at home group, but he just updated me on the brickie and that was a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? And he said that we were, we were our brickie is booked and by the and to expect them to be notifying us of the brick um, layer starting end of Feb, latest beginning of March. So that's really not that far away. That's two to three weeks away. And he so, said, he, well, he said they're averaging three weeks to build a house. So the bricky. To book, yeah, to get to plate height. Yeah. So we're expecting, hopefully, fingers crossed, if the weather and everything goes okay. Yeah, and then it's done. He's up by to plate height by the end of March. Yeah. That would, yeah. So that's where we're at at the moment. Let us know if it's helpful to anyone. Yeah, because we we struggle to find um, people that are going through the same thing. There's a few people on Instagram, but really enough not on YouTube. Um, so definitely stick um, some questions down if you have any in the comments. Um, subscribe obviously for updates and things, uh, and let us know if there's anything uh, particularly you want videos about, like the process that we've already been through or the the future where we go from here basically. Yeah. Um, but because we do go up there every day. So every weekday to pick the kids up from school, we will be driving past the block. So we will be doing updates and getting more video and content specifically for YouTube as well, because we're going to use this as a little bit of a, like, yeah, like an online diary of our process so we can look back on it as we, as we build our home together. And we also um, have family in the UK. So it's actually double win really, because they can follow and keep in touch with us and, um, and we well, can help others see the process with home group. And we'll speak to you next time. Thanks guys.